You, you can say it. All right. Now you gotta say it. It's weird. It's okay. weird for me saying it. My name's Haley. My name's Matthew, and we're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? How can you both be pregnant? It's it's only the girl, dude. All right, what's up, fellas? How's it going today? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. I found this video from Cinnamon Toast Ken. I just want to say that starting out, uh, he he's the only reason why I came across this video. But today we're going to be taking a look at a couple who, uh, you know, isn't really the smartest. You know, the boy and girl in this situation, uh, you know, they don't really... Uh, have to have too many brain cells and this is actually a series uh, by the learning channel Which you know you guys are very familiar with TLC on my channel the best channel on YouTube delivering Some of the best content that this website has to offer. So yeah without further ado We're just gonna be taking a look at this and uh, yeah, I'm not here to waste any more of your time Let's take a look at this video. So the title of this video is I wanted to get my noodle wet Unexpected I'm assuming you know he's talking about his his private parts very inappropriate man you that's disgusting you know on the poncho channel we like to keep it pg <laughs> that was a lie all right whatever let's watch this hey how are you guys doing today good how are you good you, you can say it all right you gotta say it. It's weird. It's okay. weird for me saying it. I can, I can feel how awkward this is for them. <laughs> Literally, it's, it's, it's gotta be one of the most awkward things to admit that y you got your girlfriend pregnant at 16. I'll just say right now, you know, I, I've never had sex in my life. You know, I'm a, I'm a huge virgin. You know, virgin gang. Uh, I know I have some boys out there. Truthfully, you know, I don't, I don't think I'd ever make a decision like that. I think uh, the word se I can't even say it. It's just so gross. My name's Haley. My name's Matthew, and we're pregnant. <laughs> okay, I, can't I don't take feel you good serious. saying that at all. You got to say that. Oh, I have to say it. Yeah, because you're pregnant. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you're pregnant. Why don't you go on and tell the entire world that you're pregnant, huh? Huh? You know, I have no insight on what goes on behind the scenes of these shows, but why would anyone agree to, like, d dis document their public... I can't speak. I don't know why anybody in the right mind would ever decide to show the entire world their private life, especially when they make a decision like this, which really isn't the smartest choice, which I'm referring to, you know, him getting his girlfriend pregnant at 16. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just weird to me. My name's Haley. I'm 16 years old and I'm 32 weeks pregnant. My name is Matthew. I'm 16 years old and I'm the dad. How much of a plot twist would it be if he just said he was pregnant? Yeah, I'm 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 pregnant with her. You know, we're just going to have our babies together in the same uh hospital. It's going to be really romantic. I don't know, dude. I'm getting extremely awkward vibes from this clip right here, dude. Like <laughs> imagine having to confess that to a television station, you know? I don't really even know if TLC is like a television network or not. I know they have a really successful YouTube channel, but I I've never seen them on TV or anything like that. So, who really knows? Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. I I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> is there enough for like a double scoop of banana pudding? Or it's like there should be, yeah. Then I'll get that, please. When I met Haley, I was talking to one of her best friends. Ah. Uh, so my man's a player. Uh, respectable. Uh, but he got a girl pregnant, so I mean. <laughs> my man's Zach. I think that's his name, I, I believe. Let me check again. Okay, so his name's Matthew. <laughs> that's not Zach. My man Matthew does not give a single damn, okay? He, he's trying to pull every single girl in his grade, regardless of if he even gets them pregnant or not. You know, my, my, my man's not stopping. And, um, I seen her in the background on FaceTime, and I thought she was cute. <laughs> she just looked like a preppy white girl that was really innocent, and I was like, oh, yeah. Why'd I have to be white? She was mean though, because you're white. But why you gotta call me white girl? I don't know. What am I supposed to call you? A girl. <laughs> I, I can see where she's coming from. Like, why do you have to call her a white girl? I don't know why people do that. That happens actually like quite a bit. You know, like people will label others just by their race. And it's just like, bro, like that's really the only thing you can you can think of when you're when you're trying to, you know, characterize me. Matthew just doesn't care. I can tell. Just looking at him right now, just look at him, bro. Like he does not give a single shit. <laughs> anyway, so I told her best friend that I was talking to, I asked her for Haley's number 
And then and I went off on him because, like, that was my best friend. And then the next day we started dating. <laughs> the gullible teen experience. You told him that you didn't want him, and then the next day you're with him, bro. Like, this just explains, like, teenagers. Like, this is literally not her getting pregnant, but, you know, her saying one thing and then doing the other. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see these pictures, by the way. Oh, look, there's a little thing thing. It says I'm a girl. I've had other crushes, but I wouldn't kiss nobody. I was just kind of weird. You didn't kiss anybody. It, I'm having a hard time understanding this, okay? You don't kiss anybody, but you're... Pr I'm just... I, I, my brain's just not working right now, you know? And when I met him, it took me a while to kiss him. Because <laughs> I was really innocent. Forever. It took her the longest to make out with me. But we had sex before that. Yeah. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You had sex with her before you kissed her? That's the same thing I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> like, how do you do that? Like, I I mean, I don't know. I'm not the type of guy that goes around, you know, <laughs> just trying to f*** girls. So that's like, you know, the question that I'm trying to ask right now. Like, anybody that you do stuff with, you would at least, you know, kiss them. Not like I've ever done anything, though, because, you know, ultra virgin here. She got your lips. Ow. So my lips are itty bitty and yours are a lot bigger than mine. When I found out they were having sex, um, I did take measures and I had great talks with both of them. I told Matthew, you know, use a condom. You know, you can, you can only do so much as a parent. I mean, you can do a little bit more as a parent. I know that's not really like what most people are thinking when they see this mom come in. But I don't know, like a list of things that you could do to prevent this is make sure that they aren't in your house alone. That's one. Uh, two, make sure that their door isn't closed. <laughs> like, I mean, there's simple things that you can do to make sure they don't do that type of stuff. I mean, they're 16, so I doubt they own cars. And, and if they do, it's probably the parents. I bought my first car at 16, which was mine. But I mean, my mom definitely like had access to it. I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to get my noodle wet. <laughs> It's hard to get the noodle wet when there's a piece of plastic covering the noodle. I wanted to get my noodle wet. So that's the title of this video. Now we know what it's referring to. This man is too horny, bro. He's coming on live television, or I don't know if it's live or not. He's going on a, on a big platform telling, telling the whole entire world he wants to get his noodle wet. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't do that if I were him. I'd be like, damn, I kind of I kind of messed up pretty, pretty bad. I'm a dad at 16. Um... But I'm telling the whole world I want to get my noodle wet. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> she has your nose for sure. When I found out Haley was pregnant, she sent me a picture of her pregnancy test and told me she was pregnant. His reaction was just like, oh. I don't know. I didn't know how to react to it, so I just reacted normal. Imagine being 16 years old. You're a sophomore or junior in high school, and you get that text. I don't know, dude. I feel like they're not ready. Like, they're obviously not ready, dude. They're stupid. These, you can tell they're just not ready to raise an entire child, dude. This guy is saying he wants, he just wanted to get his noodle wet on, on television and he, he's about to raise a child. So we'll see how the actual child turns out. When I told my mom, she was really dramatic about it. But I guess when my daughter's older, if she told me that I would do the same thing, I, I'm not gonna let her get pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. This story is just crazy, bro. I mean, like, th uh, this happens all over the U.S., like, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, dude. I've, I've never really taken a personal glance at, like, how it actually is. I mean, as, as much as I think it's, like, you know, interesting that TLC is kind of documenting this, I still think it's stupid that they even came on in the first place. Like, they're just exposing themselves. I mean, who, know who knows, though? I mean, maybe people don't really care about, you know, displaying their private life like that. I don't know. It's just something that I wouldn't do. You know, I, I already don't really tell you guys a lot that goes on in my personal life just because I don't feel like I need to. Like, I'm not gonna do, let my daughter have a boy in her room like my mom did. When my daughter is our age, she will not be having boys staying over at the house. Just not gonna happen. If I had a son, he could have girls over whenever he wanted. No, <laughs> that would not happen either. 
you know, I really, I honestly kind of feel bad for the girl. This guy is a complete idiot. But like, this doesn't even compare to how stupid I was at 16. This guy just brings it to a whole another level of stupidity. And I was a dumb 16 year old, okay? I have story times on my YouTube channel about the dumb things I've done at 16, okay? And her foot. She's got six toes. Wait, what? I take a little responsibility in Haley getting pregnant. It happened underneath my roof. Yeah, so like literally what I said earlier, you know, like they, this lady definitely had some responsibility with this all happening, you know, because she is the parent of, of, of the girl. And especially if it's happening beneath her roof, like <laughs> she's, she's almost half of the problem. I don't know, I'm not going to break it down and, you know, turn this into a, one big analysis or anything like that. But I felt like that was worth noting. What time is your sister getting here? Um, I do not know. She didn't answer. I can't believe I've never met your sister after almost two years of us dating. It can be awkward at first because I don't like talking to people that I don't know. <laughs> You're the only two females I, I, I really got in my life, so y'all need to get off to a good start. They haven't even met yet? In, in the first two years they were dating, they haven't met once? I don't know, bro. That that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. I feel like that's going to be awkward as hell when knowing that the girl is already pregnant and they haven't even met yet. Katie is Matthew's sister. In the beginning of our relationship, they didn't really talk. They were on, like, bad terms. I'm supposed to meet her today, and I'm really excited, but I'm nervous because she's always going to be in his life, and I am too, so we need to, like, obviously get along. You're the most important person in my life, and she's the second. Or second? Yeah. Dang, why is she that far? Uh, <laughs> they're both dumb. I mean, there's only two girls that he had in his life, um, so there's only really two spots that you can, you know, occupy. First or second. All right, I think I'm going to cut the video here. If you want a part two, then get this to 10,000 likes, and I probably will. So I guess the conclusion that we can draw from this video is uh, don't get pregnant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm not here to force you, though. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure you guys are staying safe. Make sure you guys are drinking water. And yeah, I will uh, catch you boys tomorrow. Peace. I've been falling